movieweb.com. Terry Thompson. I had hoped we wouldn't have to meet like this. Do you know all the students' names? No, it wouldn't be possible for me to know all the students' names. I mean, how do you know mine? Well, there's two groups of kids who stand out here, okay? There's the good-hearted kids, and there's the bad-hearted kids. And which one am I? Well, guys, the first thing that I appreciated about this movie is that there are age-appropriate actors playing the teenagers. I believe on the current incarnation of 90210, there are three 30-year-olds hey, who true. are in high school. I think you're wow, a couple years really? Out of high school. Yeah, that's true. It's um, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm only 20, and I was... I think maybe, no, I was not, I was like, had just turned 20 when we, f we started filming. In your audition for 90210, they told you you were 10 years They said I was 10 years too young, yeah. <laughs> um, now I know you have an improv background, which I would imagine the two of you working together, although this is obviously a drama, not a comedy, that the improv stuff would come in. Well, it's play. funny at times. You know, it... The dramedy. It was a, for me, I didn't do a lot of improv with him because I thought the script was so good that I and I I don't think I could improvise like that simplicity that like simplicityness of Terry uh, so I really wanted to stay with the script but at the same time like the improviser in me wanted to be like let's go do like make em ups with John <laughs> um, but I, I, I felt like I really should have and I did stay close to the script as possible could you guys talk to me a little bit about what you think uh Terry and Mr. Fitzgerald are, are getting from one another. So I think, I mean, we're, you know, we see sort of uh, that Mr. Fitzgerald's taking an interest in Terry and wants to kind of help look out for him, but I feel like it, it's, all, it's very symbiotic that there's... Back and back. Well, I think a lot of times in mentor-mentee relationships, the, by, by the mentor helping the person that they're trying to help, they're actually processing some of their own experience when they were that age or in that situation. So, yeah, I do think uh, anytime as an older person you interact or work with a younger person, what it allows you is the chance to see what it's like to be that optimistic or that inexperienced or that enthusiastic about life in general again. And that can be very invigorating and uh, can help you reflect on like what baggage you're carrying around for no reason, you know, when you see this kind of clean slate in a younger person. And I think that's that's true in this story that my my character Fitzgerald, the guidance counselor, is looking at Terry and thinking like, wow, I, I remember feeling like that and have I have I gotten over it or not? Maybe I haven't, you know? And so by being really honest with each other, eventually, uh at first, there's this kind of formal relationship that they have, and then as they get more and more honest with each other, I think they actually do uh, end up growing a little bit. I think um, it was also interesting, uh, you know, bullying, and that as a topic has become a, a lot more in our consciousness in pop culture. There's a lot much more awareness than there was than I remember growing up. Um, and I thought it was interesting that the movie shows us that it's not just kids like Terry that get bullied, but that even the pretty popular girl can suffer from that as well uh, what are your thoughts on on sort of bullying and uh, what this movie can, can maybe teach us about that uh, well bullying's stupid are my thoughts uh, no um, I just everybody has something that they don't like and there's going to be that one blockhead that is going to figure it out and say it to that person's face and they're always going to have that moment you know like that's something you don't forget is when like one of the first few times somebody points out your vulnerability and so I think it's it's just nice to see someone over not overcome it but be aware that it exists and question why that that exists and eventually becoming okay with who they are and can get past the fact that they're going to get bullied because it's not their fault it's the cruelty of other people yeah, if I, if, I, as a, if I was the guidance counselor to the world, <laughs> or to kids all over the place, I would say, like, the most important thing to remember about bullies is that they're actually very weak people in one way or another. Because a strong person, a person who had real confidence and real strength, wouldn't do what, what a bully does, wouldn't take advantage, you know? Someone who actually has courage and strength 
it tends to rise over rise above that kind of petty behavior so it's um I think that's the secret to dealing with but bullies is just looking back at them and like what is it about this person that making them find their sense of power in themselves by exerting it over me you know and it usually means they're very insecure about themselves in one way or another or they've been mistreated by their families or someone else in their life so I think that's the secret to unraveling the bully where were we you were getting mad at me about my tardies. No, listen. You want a mop ball? Yeah, thank you. I called a psychic, called the phone today. It's a man I really do. For reasons that I can't explain, I feel I'm split. 